hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is angela nzilani and i am a healing and transformation life coach i am your partner in healing i am your partner in transformation and before we go on uh to our topic for today which is forgiveness please subscribe to my channel and click on the uh, on the like button as well as the bell so that you may get notification for more videos that are going to come and uh, let us learn together let us grow together let us heal together let us transform together transformation is a journey that we all need to embrace because i feel that we have all had a journey and if you have had a journey this journey has made you who you are and many times you may want to uh, you know check one or two things about yourself and see whether you are at the right place now today's topic is about forgiveness and i'm doing this topic courtesy of a friend of mine who asked me to do a video on, on forgiveness because i have talked about forgiveness in many of my videos but i have never done it as um, a topic you know as, as a just a separate topic or, or as a topic on its own so what is forgiveness forgiveness is um an individual's voluntary internal process of the urge or the need to let go of you know feelings of anger and thoughts of anger you know many times we have all these feelings and, and thoughts of anger resentment and um, you know a lot of pain and we want to revenge and we want to punish this other person or even ourselves so many times it's not about the other person who has wronged us but many times also it's about us who have wronged ourselves so i am a christian and i want to refer to the bible in matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 22 jesus talks about us forgiving each other 70 times seven times can you count um 70 times seven times about somebody hurting you or even you hurting yourself it may not be possible actually it is it, it may be easier to assume that us ourselves now as we we are able to we are, we are capable of hurting ourselves that number of times more than what other people can do to us so it may not be possible to count all that number of times that anyone would hurt you you know yeah many times sometimes it's possible there are people who of course have the energy to do wrong to others but it's not um, easy it's not so much easy to have somebody doing wrong to you all those times and again the reason why i look at forgiveness as, as, a, as something important and um, this one is just something that i created is because we are created to give so we are created for giving and we are created for getting you know to get so when we give we get so we are here to forgive or forgiving and then forgetting so you, you know give and get yeah so i want to give you quickly uh four steps that i know will help you in working through your forgiveness and my step number one is acknowledging and accepting that whatever it is that happened needs to be forgiven so you need to forgive that person you need to acknowledge that yes this happened yes i went through this yes this is what i'm feeling but i need to forgive so that i can you know achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve and all that so you need to acknowledge and accept the need for you to forgive acknowledge that um you know just 
work in your mind go through your mind and accept that yes this is what i want to do this is what i need to do number two you need to change the perspective of how you look at the whole scenario the, how you look at the whole event or whatever it is that has happened to you or around you or whatever it is that you've done to yourself so you need to start changing um, the perception change uh, from looking at it negatively but now start looking at it positively instead of being too angry at the person start applying empathy so instead of um having the anger ask yourself how can i change this anger that i'm feeling into something positive so one way one best way for me to change anger into something positive is to look at myself as a human being who has wronged other people and even wronged myself in many ways and that makes me realize that i am human and i make mistakes the same way this other person is human and makes mistakes or they have gone through a journey that has contributed to the kind of people that they have become the same thing with myself so if i have had a journey that has made me who i am today then they too have a journey of um that has made them become the kind of people they are today so that makes you now be able to apply some empathy and we shed off the feeling of or the need to be driven by ego but instead apply empathy into looking at this person or even ourselves number three find the benefit in forgiveness what is the benefit of forgiving this person what is the benefit of forgiving our, ourselves many times when you forgive ourselves we feel more confident and we feel um, more self-worth because you are holding more value to yourself and that is why you're giving yourself credit you're letting go of the heart that you did to yourself so even with the other person if it is somebody who has hurt you forgiving them um, gives a lot of benefits it offloads burdens that you had that you don't need to go carrying around it offloads the need to apply your energy in the negativity of uh, of what anger resentment and revenge comes with many times when somebody wrongs you the first thing you want to do is to revenge to hurt them back to make them feel you know the pain that you're feeling we want to you know to share their story in public and just to humiliate them we want to you know whatever kind of a thing that we do to revenge and many times it does not help you in fact it makes you feel worse and you're even prolonging the pain instead of dealing with it so it's good to just find the benefit look at the reasons why you need to forgive why you need to let this go number four forgiveness um will help you or all these num steps number one two three will help you heal your emotional uh it will it will help you bring uh emotional healing to you so you will be healed emotionally so you start now letting go of whatever was negative that doesn't serve you and instead apply things or just have memories and um uh, you know put in mind what serves you so you become uh it becomes easier for you to use your emotions to continue healing and instead of having negative emotions you change them into positive emotions and you realize that it becomes easy for you to be joyful to, for you to be happier for you to even connect with people better so it's it's um it brings about um emotional healing now there are things that we confuse forgiveness for and some of these things are things like condoning we condone 
you know we condone a lot of nonsense we condone a lot of uh, abuse and uh, sometimes it's even ourselves who are abusing ourselves so uh, condoning it means that you are justifying the offense and when you justify it makes you um continue to being a victim you you realize that you you're still a victim of whatever happened to you or whatever keeps on happening to you so when you condone you're justifying the offense it's okay you're making the other person to know that it's okay to continue hurting you number uh, two second thing that forgiveness is not is excuses you know excusing the offense and when you we excuse it means that we are shifting the blame from where it's supposed to be to where it it's not so we blame ourselves instead of blaming the person who did you wrong so you start blaming yourself oh it's because i did not cook well that's why he slapped me it's because i didn't don't have enough money that's why she's cheating on me you know such kind of things and this also continues or keeps you in the victimhood so you continue staying as a victim instead of uh dealing with uh with with the offense with the whatever it is that happened to you number three forgetting we pretend many times that we have forgotten about whatever happened and we don't want to sort it out and we push it ahead and it keeps on affecting us sometimes we even find ourselves um like let me take an example of uh, maybe a marriage you go for honeymoon and it didn't work well it, it wasn't right or it wasn't um what you expected and then now you keep on remembering every other time there's a trigger you keep on remembering and bringing it up and one day it just boils up and it, it bursts into something that means that any pain that you don't deal with never goes away so even if it is pain that happened to you when you were a child you need to let go or you need to forgive you need to work on that pain let it go and then you can be able to live a happy life you know a peaceful life so pushing pain forward doesn't kill it or it doesn't we don't we never really forget we are just postponing the solution so it's good whatever happened to you even when something happened to you when you're a child many times when i'm doing my coaching i realize that many people are hurting because they never dealt with pain that happened to them uh, when they were children so now instead of asking somebody why are you doing what you're doing i ask you what happened to you so when i realize that something happened or some there's a there's a kind of a pattern of life that you you know pain that you're going through and you, you don't know how to deal with it you're not able to even solve it uh with the with the tactics that i give you or the skills that i give you then i realize that there's something that you never dealt with and then we go and deal with that pain so you must be able to deal or to recognize that every thing that you have pushed away of forward and every pain that you've pushed forward it will keep on haunting you unconsciously even consciously until you're able to deal with that so let us um work on forgiveness let us continue uh, forgiving and forgetting let us work on reconciliations let us you know and reconciliation by the way is not necessarily part of forgiveness because um forgiveness doesn't mean that you continue living in the same state that you were living with this person sometimes it means just walking away you know the best way to solve the situation so you forgive and walk away so walking away doesn't mean that you have not forgiven or reconciling doesn't mean that you have not forgiven that is a totally different thing 
so i hope you've enjoyed my video and i hope that you have learned something most importantly so if you have learned something please leave a comment say something about it if you haven't please also leave a comment and i will <laughs> i will still um handle it next time when or i will i will come back to you about it so thank you so much and uh see you again next time bye for now